Hey Gemini and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your uh, spread for what you don't know. Um, we'll see what is in the works that your partner may not be telling you. Um, we'll just see what is going on that you don't know nothing about. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Geminis. So one more shuffle here and we will be ready to go. Get the first card out. What you don't know, Gemini. In love. Whew. All right. What you don't know, your cards that came out were the Two of Cups and the Five of Wands. Got to move my incense here. The smoke is like choking me out. Okay. There we go. Much better. All right. Let's see who needs to... All right, whoa. The Ace of Cups is your next card out. The next card is the Chariot. Where this relationship is headed. Where are you, Gemini? Where is your relationship headed? Holy cow. All right, wow. The star and the five of pentacles in reverse. What a beautiful reading, Gemini. Why this is all happening is the king of cups. I'm gonna scoot this up a little bit. How to move this forward is the nine of wands in reverse my goodness you got a lot of cards and the outcome of this relationship is the ten of wands in the reverse bottom of the deck is the three of pentacles with the high priestess and the sun holy shit the devil is in reverse underneath that wow gemini that's amazing this is a very 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 spiritual uh relationship this is all about working with you your person and uh source you know the holy trinity the the balance building a solid foundation the triangle the base of it is solid um it is not going anywhere this relationship is solid um because you are working with the divine in this connection and talk about the divine the high priestess knowing that what you're feeling is true trusting your intuition balancing out your light and dark um the universe is at your back giving you encouragement giving you direction um helping you accomplish what it is that you want to create which what it is that, what path you want to take um this is this is amazingly uh spiritually centered whether you know it yet or not because some of you may not know it um, some of you do, but wow, very intense energy here. All right. So Gemini's what you don't know, the five of wands and the two of cups. So, um, the person that you're dealing with, they may have a lot of options. They, you may have some competition that you didn't even know about. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius here, um, with the five of wands, and the wheel of fortune fire sign energy um, but you also have the two of cups so water sign as well what you don't know is this person has a lot of suitors a lot of not really suitors a lot of people that want their attention um, this person is very desirable um, they have a lot of people that would love to be with them but what you don't know is they instantly felt that you are the perfect connection for them um, with one and seven uh, Gemini that that's not unheard of with a Sagittarius, especially, um, they are your natural house. Um, but there is, uh, there are a lot of people that would like to be with them, but they are, um, they view you as your soulmate. This, they feel that you coming into their life when you did was perfect timing. It was like, you literally walked in like after a, a major life, like this person's life 
um, possibly was in chaos. Um, they could have had some bad experiences in love. Um, not sure whether or not th there was somebody out for them. Very discouraged because of the conflicts they faced in past relationships. Um, and you walked in and swept them off their feet. And they feel that this most definitely is good luck. That they were so lucky to find you when they did. So lucky to have you come into their life. Um, they do feel a very deep soul connection with you as they should because there is a very deep soul connection here. Um, the action that is uh, being taken or the energy that is coming in for you is this opportunity for big love. Um, why is this Ace of Cups here? I'm also... Oops. The Page of Swords in Reverse and the Eight of Pentacles. So... Um, with this energy that is coming in, this new opportunity to uh, to build something, to have this big love, um, there there could be like a lack in communication at the moment because this person is very focused on um, you know their finances, trying to get stability uh, like set in their life. Um, so there is it isn't that they are out you know seeing other people or or um, having this. Uh, having other people around them um, they're just trying to this is a lot of inner conflict within them they're just trying to get their life back in order and get this wheel turning in a positive direction so there could not there could be a lack of communication at this moment because they are working very hard trying to manifest a new beginning trying to um, work on their career trying to get their finances in order trying to get their life back in check trying to take charge of their own um, life but there is this opportunity of big love a new uh, a new start with somebody um, so don't fear the non community or the lack of communication at this moment because there it could be you know hit and miss with talking to this person I do see this person at being at a, a short distance from you all the way to a long distance so you know could be the next town away to the next state to across the country um, but but communication is very important to the relationship so now that it's kind of cut back a little bit you're getting a little worried but this big love is still here for you um, this is going to move forward uh, in the time of cancer. So June 21st to July 22nd, I believe, um, is when this action is going to move forward very quickly. Um, and it's going to come after the message. It's like the go ahead message. Like, you know, you're sitting there ready and waiting or they are and that text message comes in and bam, you guys are on your way moving forward. Um, there's just something that they're working through right now. So, um, and they're not telling you about it. That's why there is this uh, worry that you're having. But they're gaining, they're trying to get their stability and they are going to get it, which is going to be able to allow them to give love freely. But um, not until the time of cancer are you going to get this message saying, you know, they feel they're ready to move forward with this relationship. Um, in your guys's. Uh, where this is going you're coming out of the dark so this person um, could have possibly walked away from you or you walked away from them um, to get their life in order but with the five of Pentacles in reverse they're no longer sitting out in the cold they're getting up they're going inside the church warming up um, but they're no longer um, holding on to um, anything from the past so it's taking them a little bit of time to get over this financial hardship um, they could have gone through some financial troubles, but they're getting out of that dark negative thought thoughts about their finances. Um, they feel for some reason they can't have a relationship and work on their finances at the same time. Um, that has something to do with their inner their inner conflict. But they're getting out of this financial hardship. They're coming out of the cold, out of the dark, um, and they're moving forward. Um, it's just taking some time. Uh, there's also healing that is happening and taking place in this relationship. Um, this is also divine timing. So let's see what the star is here for. Yeah, there's some healing because there this relationship's gone through a couple bumps in, in the road. A couple battles. Um, feeling like this 
you know, there's always a fight. There's o not really a fight, but like a fight to keep you together. Not the two of you fighting, but just like outside conflict, outside influences, trying to penetrate the relationship, trying to break the two of you up. Um, and it did work successfully at one time. So there was just a lot of battles between the two of you, a lot of um, the, the two of you had to face. But for some reason, this person is facing them all alone. So one of you took off, one of you uh, was left to um, fight the feelings, fight the heartache, fight the hardships. Um, but this is almost over and there is a lot of healing that is coming in for um, for whichever person that was, yeah, due to a third party situation. So the healing of this situation is coming, is you know going on right now. So where this relationship is going is to a beautiful place of healing, um, self-confidence, being able to uh, replenish your own energy um, by, by being selfish and keeping it to yourself, learning to work through meditation. Um, a lot of beautiful things are coming in with the star card. Like I said, it is also the card of um, wishes coming true. So the stars are aligning and this relationship is going to come back together very soon. Um, why this is all happening um, was due to somebody in the relationship who had a lot of love for this person, uh, whichever person this is, um, a lot of unconditional love, but they didn't know how to voice it. They didn't know how to stand up for their own feelings. So they were allowing other people to confuse them, allowing other people to uh, tell them what to do, how they should feel, where they should be, um, and not standing up for their own self, not standing up for their own uh, heart, what they truly felt, um, just kind of going with the flow of what everyone else wanted them to do. So um, the four of wands came out, but I don't know if it was in the reverse or the upright, so I am putting it back. We'll see if it comes out again. Uh, wow, chariot on the bottom again. So why this was, why this all had to happen was this person had to um, go like re retreat, go away and see exactly what feelings they had. They had to be in a quiet place where nobody was affecting them um, and how they felt. And they really had to feel that for themselves. Um, so why this all had to happen is this person had their lesson. One of these lessons they had to learn was they had to learn to speak their mind and lead with their heart, stand up for their own feelings. Um, they kept a lot of feelings hidden um, for you, um, or vice versa, whoever this is. Um, but those feelings, this had to happen. So these feelings could be acknowledged and they could come out so that they could voice and no longer have to keep their feelings, their heart, a secret. They could have been emotionally manipulating to you. Um, because the magician in reverse is somebody who uses their emotions or, or uses your emotions against you. They're very emotionally manipulative, um, possibly emotionally abusive, but this had to happen. The separation had to happen because they had to work through that. Um, and what they're not telling you is that they are realizing that you are this Ace of Cups. They are realizing that, that by going with the flow, it is going to bring the two of you together and dissolve that conflict that they've been um, having this time apart from you. So um, how to move this relationship forward. You have the nine of wands in reverse. Let's see what, let's get a clarifier on that. Yeah. Okay. So in order to, bottom of the deck is a six of swords. In order to move this relationship forward, you have to move away from the situation that is bringing you all this emotional baggage. Um, allow your intuition, allow your inner guide to move you to the place of peace emotionally. Um, you have to let this go. You have to um, let the, uh, the memories, the thoughts, the feelings of this hardship that you went through with this person. You have, to, uh, you have to digest those. You have to learn from those. You have to let those go and move away from them. To no longer be defensive. Um, to no longer be so... Um, so focus on the, what negatively happened and move forward. Move because the chariot goes to the star and you have the star here in where this relationship is going. So you are going to successfully move away from these ill feelings, this, this anger, this sadness. Um, you're going to, going to let it go and 
move into this place of healing. And what's funny is the star card was clarified by the nine of wands. So you truly are doing exactly what you need to do to move forward. Because what you need to do is to let this go, to move forward, to um, let down the, you know, the tough act and to move into the star. Well, where your relationship is going is the star and you're healing from these nine of wands. So you are doing exactly what you need to do, Gemini, um, or they are. If you, it depends on who was the one that was left here. Um, but this message of clarifying what's going on that you don't know about is whoever left the relationship, that's what's going on. Um, they are healing from these wands um, and you are as well. The outcome of this relationship is the Ten of Wands in the reverse. You're so close. You're so, you're almost there. Um, why is this Ten of Wands? Here's their outcome. Bottom of the deck is a Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. Okay, wow. So you have the Sun card again. So the outcome of this relationship, Gemini, is these burdens are being laid down. You are almost to the tower. You're almost to that point where you can lay them down. This cycle is going to complete. This cycle is going to close. Um, you are going to be very confident. Um, you're going to start following your heart. You're not going to let anybody tell you how to feel and what to do. You are truly being guided and led by the universe. You are truly... Um, going to take a stand for what you want, what you want to do, what you want to have, and you are laying down everything that is not um, is not in line with that. Your partner is doing the same thing. They are needing to put the burden of something down. Something has to end before they can come back to you. Um, in this time of pause, Gemini, this is your time of healing. Um, they are prepared and, and moving toward... Um, ending a cycle with somebody to where they can um, have the confidence and the courage and the faith to move forward without restriction because the sun is illuminating the path for them, bringing them back to you. The sun card for me is Gemini and Leo um, because of the baby is where I get Gemini. But this person, uh, Gemini, is moving into a very confident um, person and that was part of their healing. They were lacking the courage to stand up for their own feelings. So they are doing the work. And that's what, what you don't know, what, what they're not telling you, is they are, uh, they are doing what they need to do in order to um, bring this back together. And you are doing that as well. You are exactly where you need to be on the path that you're meant to be on. All right. So clarifying the three of pentacles, this spiritual connection, this divine relationship, um, is work. It's like you guys are working without even realize you're working together. This is a very spiritual connection. So when you heal, they heal. When you feel something, they feel something. Um, very twin flamish like um, soulmate for sure because you did have the two of cups here. Um, so the divine is working behind the scenes feverishly to get the two of you back in the same path with each other. Um, so you can build this beautiful, abundant life together. So you can um, manifest and create a life that you have been hoping for. Um, they are also helping them complete a cycle within a family. So they could have issues. Um, they have their own family already or like issues with their parents. Um, this is something around family life. It doesn't necessarily have to be a spouse or a, you know, the mother or father to their children. This could be their own parents. It could be childhood hurts. Um, but something is ending. A cycle is ending here. And the universe is helping them work through it. So the two of you can create this beautiful, stable, like I said, the triangle, stable foundation to build this connection on. So the two of you can achieve this abundant life that um, is in the works for you. You are following your intuition. You are working very hard on balancing your own light and dark, your own shadow. Everyone has a shadow and light side within themselves. When you find that perfect balance, you are perfectly in tune with the universe. Um, your intuition is speaking loudly. Um, and it is also telling you, like you feel they're coming back. You can tell, you just know. And why you know is because you are in tune energetically with your divine partner, your yin and yang, your 
um, intuitively connected and you know that they're making a decision, you know they're making a choice to um, move in your direction, even though they're not talking to you, even though they're not telling you, um, you energetically feel it in your soul. And it's, it's such a beautiful feeling. It's, this is just kind of confirmation because the universe is guiding them and illuminating the path, um, giving them the courage to do what they want to do um, instead of what everyone else tells them to do. This is also things coming to light um, and being enlightened by the universe, finding the divine truth, um, the ace of swords, being brought out of that fog, out of that confusion, moving forward in the direction that their true life's purpose is leading them. Um, this is divine success with the wreaths on the crown. This is a universe bringing them this awakening, bringing them out of darkness into the light, taking away the confusion, showing them the way, leading them, guiding them, teaching them how to trust their intuition. They're following their own intuition now and making a decision, making a choice, and deciding to work on this divine partnership with you, Gemini. Um, this is... This is so close. They are almost to the end of that cycle with the 10 of uh, wands in reverse. It's not quite there yet, but that's what's going on that they're not telling you. Let's get um, first card, you Gemini, second card, your person, third card, what's coming in as far as um, time predictions and energetic presence. First card, Gemini. Thank you. All right, let's just throw them all out there at once. There we go. Okay, so uh, Gemini, the two of you um, possibly are not talking right now with the Seven of Swords. This is not like your regular tarot deck where there's um, deception and deceit and lies. Um, this is, the two of you have the, your backs to each other um, at the moment, but by no means is that connection lost. Is you're both working on your own uh, path right now. You're both working on what you need to do to uh, to become to get to the place where you need to be, to where you can contribute to a healthy relationship. Um, it's not it's not only the beginning that the two of you were so connected. Um, it truly with the Seven of Swords. It wasn't only the beginning that you guys had this strong connection. This connection has been strong the whole time that the two of you have had your backs to each other. Um, it, it's just the beginning. Um, you know, not every relationship can blossom and bloom and ripen in a day. Um, this is why you must do the work separate from each other um, so the two of you can come back together and grow. Um, this, the, your backs to each other is not um, cold. It's not. It's just the two of you needed silence, the two of you needed separation to work on yourselves so you can grow together. I hope that made sense. So right now, um, Gemini, you guys are worried about your backs being to each other because you're worried about other people, um, but that's not the case. You guys are both just working in your own energy, working on your own uh, journey so your paths can cross again. The person that you are dealing with, they are the Knight of Pentacles. So um, they're um, steady, but very slow, as we know the Pentacles are. But this card, uh, you see he's offering there the, um, I think it's, I don't know, it looks like a lime, but why would you offer somebody a lime? I don't know. Offering them some kind of uh, fruit. But, um, yeah, that's what I thought. But waiting I'm being shown like if you eat fruit too early it's it's not any good um, the time has to be put into it um, to oh man, what am I wanting to say waiting allows the relationship to mature just like you know you have to wait for fruit to ripen um, so if you move in haste, if you move too quickly, if you move this connection together before it is um, ready, it's not going to work out. It's just going to, it's just going to separate again. 
So your person that um, could possibly not be talking to you right now, they're not offering you this relationship just yet because it's not ready. They're not ripened. They're not prepared to contribute to a relationship that could be healthy. So you're going to have to wait a little bit, Gemini, but it's going to be worth the wait because when they do get to you, they're going to be ready. They're going to be ripe and they're going to be ready to, um, uh, you know, create this abundant life with you. So while the two of you are have your backs together working on each other or working on yourselves, um, this person knows that they can't come and offer you this before they're ready and they're just not quite ready, but they are so very close. Um, because the energy coming in for you is the Ace of Pentacles. So um, you see the three candles here? That is the um, the unity of mind, body, and soul. And that is what you want. That is the creation, or that is the relationship that you are wanting to be offered. Um, so you're just going to have to be a little bit more patient because this person needs a little bit more time to work on themselves to get to that point. Um, you just want a really gratifying relationship a complete relationship one that that gives as much as it, it gets um, love is rooted in the intimacy um, of this relationship so you know you could if you are speaking with this person right now they could just be offering you sex but the the connection that the sex um, brings brings a deeper root of that intimacy it brings deeper feelings um, because while they are getting ready to offer you this Ace of Pentacles, um, just be grateful for the energy that the two of you share because this is coming in for you. This unity of mind, body, and soul um, of the soulmate connection is coming in for you. You're just going to have to wait a little bit longer because they are truly becoming mature um, in their feelings and, and stabilizing their own emotions. So when the two of you come back together, this can be a healthy relationship. So you're just going to have to be a little bit more patient. Um, this could be anywhere from one month to one year. I don't see one year for very many of you unless you have been in uh, like the twin flame journey and you've only been separated for you know uh, six months or less. You would be the ones that fall in that one year category. But if you have been separated from this person, you know anywhere from a, eight months on you you're going to be looking in the one month um category because this person has been taking their time over the last year two years three years six years you know um getting to the point where they can offer a healthy relationship but it's coming because they are releasing toxic energy they are getting out of a toxic situation um and moving in your direction gemini so all right guys i hope you enjoyed the messages that they um, aren't telling you but that are here for you you have a beautiful connection coming in please be patient and let it come in on its own time don't try to rush it or force it too early or it will not work um, allow the energy to come in as it is meant for you and you will be in a blessed union very soon so all right gemini i send you all love and light god bless